Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we will be comparing the i7 1195G7 models of the GBD WinMax 2021 versus the Win3 versus One X Player 1S. We will be comparing each device's features running a series of system and gaming benchmarks and discussing which device is best suited for your needs. We will keep the technical specifications brief as we all know it's boring. Essentially every model uses the same processor with a max frequency of 5GHz. As standard each model comes with 16GB of LPDDR4X RAM and 1TB SSD. The main difference is the default TDP. The Win3 and 1X player have a default of 20 watts and the max 2021 as 22 watts. This does mean that the max will run slightly faster but also uses a little more battery. You can of course increase the TDP on the other two devices to match or even go higher. On the subject of batteries, we performed a quick test with the battery usage. We left the devices sitting idle on the desktop for 3 hours. The GPD Win3 had the least drain with 20% used, followed by the Max 21 at 22% and the One X Player with 24% usage. A very quick mention that you can order the Win3, Max21 and 1X player from Droix at droix.co.uk. Shipped and supported in the UK, they come with full warranty and customer service. Learn more at droix.co.uk. The GPD WinMax 21 measures approximately 8.1 by 5.7 by 1 inches when closed. It weighs around 790 grams. It features an 8-inch IPS touch-enabled screen and has a default resolution of 1280x800. There are left and right analogue sticks, a classic D-pad, gaming buttons and left and right shoulder and trigger buttons. The main draw to the WinMax 2021 is that it has the largest keyboard of the three devices. While not full size, it is very comfortable and can very easily be used for long periods of time. Another nice feature is the built-in HDMI output to connect to a display, something that other two models do not have and require a dock or hub to do. Next, a closer look at the Win3. It is the smallest of the handhelds, measuring 7.8 by 3.6 by 1 inches and weighs 550 grams. The screen is a 5.5 inch display with a native resolution of 1280 by 720. It has all the same gaming controls as the Max, with the addition of a front facing fingerprint sensor. Like the WinMax, it also has a keyboard. It is touch sensitive and not clicky like the Max. It's okay for brief usage. Last but not least is the One X Player 1S. It is the largest and heaviest of the three, measuring 11.3 by 5.1 by 0.8 inches and weighing 820 grams. The screen is a 8.3 inches IPS display with a native resolution of 2560 by 1600. Like the other two models, it has all of your usual controls with the addition of three extra buttons. On the back, you can find the combined power and fingerprint sensor. An official keyboard add-on is available to purchase separately. Now on to the benchmarks. As mentioned in the technical specs, the WinMax does have a higher 22 watt default TDP compared to the 20 watts on the Win3 and 1X player. So the WinMax has a 2 watts advantage and potentially 10% higher performance. As we are testing out of the box so to speak, we will keep the TDP to 22 and show adjusted scores in the summary. Passmark runs a series of benchmarks to test the performance of CPU, GPU, RAM and storage speed. These are artificial tests which push each area to their maximum. The GBD Win3 scores 3878 
with around their average rating for the five test areas. The Jeep D Win Max scores 3,728 with around the same average ratings for the five test areas. The One X Player 1S scores 3,988, again with around average for the first four tests, but with a noticeably higher disk speed. The One X Player comes out on top here, mainly due to the faster disk speed, which has bumped up the score. PC Mark runs a series of benchmark tests to see the performance of more day-to-day -day tasks you may be doing whilst not gaming. These include tasks such as web browsing, media consumption, image and video editing. The Win3 scores 5384. The Win Max scores 5499 and the One X Player 1S scores 5,250. There is not a massive difference between the three devices here. They will all perform your day-to-day -day tasks just fine. 3D Mark runs a series of tests for the CPU and GPU to see how they work together. This gives us a more accurate look at each model to see their performance. The Win3 scores 1,588, the Win Max scores 1,393, and the One X Player scores 1,818. The One X Player has a considerably higher score than the other two. We did run the benchmarks again and got roughly the same scores as previous. A quick mention to subscribe if you have not already. Over 80% of our viewers are unsubscribed and we really want to build this channel up. The more subscribers we gain, the more awesome tech videos we can make. For the gaming benchmarks, we are running each game at the same graphic settings and resolution to ensure a more accurate comparison. For this test, we are running Forza Horizon 4 at 1280x720 with the default ultra settings and a target frame rate of 60fps. The Win3 scores 41fps, the Win Max scores 43fps, and the One X Player scores 40fps. The scores here are again pretty close to each other. For Street Fighter 5 benchmark, we are running the first match. The Win3 scores an average of 35 frames per second over the course of the match. The Win Max scores an average of 40, and the One X Player scores an average of 44 FPS. Here we can see some large differences between the frame rates. The One X Player has 9 FPS more than Win3, which is quite a gap at 22% difference. And we finished the benchmarks with Final Fantasy XIV running at 1920x1080 at high settings. The Win3 scores 4209, the Win Max scores 4377 and the One X Player scores 4297. There's not a great deal of difference in the scores here, around 6%. As you can see from the results here, there is a mix of high scores between the Win Max and the One X Player, with the GPD Win 3 scores working out on average between them. But do keep in mind that the Winmax was running at 22 watts compared to 20 on the other two devices. The adjusted scores can be found in the brackets. With the adjusted scores, the order would be slightly different with the Win3 beating the Max 2021. The One X Player 1S clearly wins in terms of performance, with the two GBD devices coming in second place. So which device is best for you? Ultimately, it is down to personal preference, as we discussed in our previous Win3 vs One X Player video. Is portability important to you? Something that can literally fit in a coat pocket with the Win3 and you can pull it out and play at any time? Or is having to carry a bag for the Max and One X Player something you don't mind doing? Another thing to consider is the screen size. The Win3 screen size is quite small and it can be hard to read text at times. 
With the larger screen on the other two devices, it is far easier to read small text. And not forgetting that the Winmax has built-in HDMI and a usable keyboard without the need for a docking station. All three devices have their positives and negatives. Whichever one you would buy, you know that you are getting a great performing handheld. So my main considerations would be performance first, portability along with screen size and features, and finally, comfortability. I chose the One X player in my previous video and I'm sticking with my decision, followed closely by the Winmax as the keyboard and HDMI output is great. Let us know in the comments what one you would choose and what is your main deciding factor. We hope you found this video useful to learn more about the three models and see how they compare with each other. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already as it really helps to grow our channel. And thanks for watching, we hope to see you in the next video.